Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the software issues I spotted in my daily usage of the Pixel 7 Pro, hoping that Google will fix them in future software updates. And to let you know, this phone is running October security batch, which is the latest one you can get for the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. So let's find out what are those issues. The first problem is the phone freezes all of a sudden and it doesn't respond to touches or even when you press the power button, nothing happens. This issue happens maybe once every couple of days. It doesn't happen all the time, but I managed to record it on camera. And here is one of the videos I have. So as you see here, when I tap the screen, nothing happens. And also when I pressed the power button, it didn't respond for the first couple of times and then went back to normal. Thankfully, you don't need to force restart the device to overcome this issue, but it's definitely annoying and we need a fix for it. The second bug is related to the lock screen. When I put my phone on the charger and wake up in the morning, I see the lock screen is fully visible instead of the always on display and it never times out. It can stay like this forever and the only way to turn off the display is by pressing the power button manually yourself. This bug is annoying because it might wake you up while sleeping if you sleep in a dark room. So I hope this one will be included in the future fixes as well. Issue number three is related to the face unlock. Sometimes it works great without any issues and in other times you might struggle a little bit with it. So I think Google needs to work on the feature reliability. Another weird issue related to the face unlock, if you have the skip lock screen activated and then have your phone on the always on display, when you get a notification, the banners appear at the top of the screen in a weird place. So in this side by side comparison, you will see how the banners appear with the skip lock screen on and off. Now let's talk about the issues I spotted in the camera. And the first one is related to the cinematic mode. If you take a look at the sample videos on the screen, you will see a lot of shutter lag while panning the camera and that ruins the whole experience. Not only this, but the blur effect is a bit too much and it looks artificial. So I think Google needs to improve this feature in future software updates. The second issue in the camera is related to the lens switching. On the right, I have the 7 Pro and on the left, I have the 6 Pro. And you will notice a faster animation on the 6 Pro when I switch between lenses. So let's move from the ultra wide to the main camera at the same time. You will see here the 6 Pro was faster. Let's try this one more time. And here it's faster again. And the same applies when you do this in the telephoto as you see it's very laggy when i switch from the telephoto to the ultra wide so the 6 pro is much better the third problem in the camera is related to the 4k 60 video recording in my battery comparison between the 6 pro and the 7 pro that you can see it's linked now on the screen or in the description below the 7 pro took only eight minutes and six seconds and then stopped recording due to thermal warning while the 6 pro took 10 minutes and 52 seconds which doesn't make sense because tensor g2 should be more efficient However, it actually recorded for a less time and both phones were in room temperature. So nothing crazy. There is no sun or anything like that. I don't think any of them is great, but at least Tensor G1 was better in this matter. So I hope Google will optimize this in the future. Last but not least, let's talk about the thermal management in general. In the same battery comparison with the 6 Pro, I noticed the 7 Pro is usually producing more heat, even though it consumes less battery to do the same tasks. So I'm not sure if this higher temperature is due to the poor hardware cooling or the chipset itself needs some software optimization. So let's wait and see. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the issues I spotted in the Pixel 7 Pro while using it for the past week. Please let me know in the comments if you spotted more issues so I can include them in my future videos. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you the next video.